Imagine a life without any relationships. Pretty dull and lonely, right? But what makes a relationship healthy? Relationships in their various forms are the threads that weave the fabric of our lives. They are the intricate networks that connect us as humans, fueling our sense of belonging and purpose. From the familial bonds we form from birth to the friendships we cultivate over time and the romantic connections we might explore, each type of relationship enriches our lives in unique ways. But it's crucial to remember that healthy relationships don't just happen. They require understanding, effort, good communication skills, and a commitment to fostering connections. And that's what we're going to explore today. The different types of relationships, how we can improve our communication within them, and how we can nurture these relationships to be as healthy and fulfilling as possible. So, let's unravel the mystery of building healthy relationships. First, understand that relationships come in many forms, family, friendship, and romantic. Each holds a unique place in our lives and enriches our experience in a different way. Family relationships, our earliest connections, serve as our initial exposure to concepts like love, trust, and loyalty. They shape our perception of the world and influence our future interactions. On the other hand, friendships offer a different kind of bond. They provide us with companionship, fun, and a much needed support system. They help us navigate life's ups and downs, making the journey a little less daunting. Then come romantic relationships. These bonds delve even deeper, involving intimacy, vulnerability, and mutual respect. They allow us to form profound connections that have the potential to last a lifetime. Each relationship type holds its own significance, but the core principles of a healthy relationship remain the same across all. They revolve around respect, understanding, and open communication, forming the foundation of any strong connection. Now, let's talk about communication, the backbone of any relationship. This is the key that unlocks the door to understanding and interacting with the world around us. Firstly, active listening isn't just about hearing the words that are being said. It's about understanding the emotions and intentions behind the words. Imagine it as a way of saying, I see you, I hear you, and what you say matters to me. It's a powerful tool that fosters mutual respect and understanding. Next, using I statements. This technique allows us to express our feelings and needs without pointing fingers or placing blame. It's about saying, I feel this way when this happens. It's a non-confrontational way of communicating that promotes empathy and understanding. Lastly, setting boundaries. It's about respecting your personal space and feelings as well as those of others. Boundaries provide a sense of security and autonomy, paving the way for healthier interactions. Good communication is not just about talking, it's also about listening and understanding the other person's perspective. Healthy relationships are not just built, they are fostered. This is a truth we must remember as we navigate our connections with others. Let's consider three pillars to fostering these healthy bonds, empathy, appreciation, and conflict resolution. Empathy is like a bridge, connecting us to others by allowing us to see the world through their eyes. By practicing empathy, we can better understand the feelings and perspectives of those around us, strengthening our connections and fostering mutual respect. Showing appreciation is like the sunshine that nourishes a plant. By acknowledging the efforts, qualities, and positive impact of those we cherish, we not only make them feel valued, but we also foster a deeper bond. Finally, conflict resolution is like a soothing balm, healing the wounds that differences and disagreements may cause. By focusing on finding solutions and compromises calmly and constructively, we can turn conflicts into opportunities for growth and understanding. Remember, it's the little things that often make the biggest impact in a relationship. So, we've learned about the types of relationships, communication skills, and how to foster healthy connections. Let's take a moment to recap. We've discovered that family, friendships, and romantic relationships each play unique roles in our lives, shaping our experiences and perceptions. We've also understood that effective communication isn't just about talking, but also about active listening and expressing our emotions with clarity and respect. Furthermore, we've acknowledged the importance of setting boundaries and showing appreciation in our relationships. In fostering healthy connections, remember to practice empathy, 
resolve conflicts calmly, and most importantly, appreciate the people who make a positive impact in our life. Building healthy relationships is not a one-off task. It's a continuous process that requires time, effort, and commitment. These connections add meaning to our lives, bringing us closer to those we care about. Creating healthy, meaningful bonds is a journey, not a destination. So keep learning, keep growing, and keep fostering those connections that make life worthwhile.